what's going on everybody welcome back to the farm vlog here at hidden heights farm i know it's a little windy and i got the gopro with me today so i don't have a good microphone on here so bear with me uh no this is not kool-aid this is actually some mixed gas i had to go get some uh gasoline to mix up with some oil for some uh two cycle engines and i'm coming out here in the shop to show you guys something so we got plenty of projects today uh one of the first things i want to talk about is let me show you real quick got some baby turkeys hatching but look at this we've already got those and look how big these guys are these guys are going out in the big turkey pen today so we're gonna get that done today because we got all these new ones hatching and we're running out of room but uh Something I gotta do first is I gotta get my chainsaws ready and go uh, cut up a bunch of uh, trees that fell. Well, they didn't fall. I actually dug them up with the backhoe over in the hog pen. I got a trailer full of lumber that we're gonna build a hog shed out of because the shed that's currently over in our feeder lot, uh, we're gonna move that over to where our pregnant uh, adult pigs are because they're gonna start having uh, babies or farrowing. And uh, well, it's May today, so within hopefully within a month or so they're going to start having babies and we only have one shed over there shelter for them to get out of and when when you guys if you guys watched uh, some of the previous videos uh, i think i've mentioned when you got more than one pregnant sow or female uh pig you don't want to just have one shelter because sometimes when they start having babies at the same time or even if just one has them sometimes the other mama will eat them and they kind of get you know they just get in a bad mood and they do weird stuff sometimes so we're gonna do two shelters over there because we got two pregnant mamas and hopefully they'll just go out in the you know in their pen somewhere away from the other and just have their baby sometimes they make nests they kind of want to stay there itself you know so anyways that's what we're gonna do with that and uh i gotta get started on the shed but first i had to uh clear a road kind of you might say through the feeder lot pen because i had to get my truck and trailer through there and we want to be able to get a truck and a stock trailer through there so we went ahead and cleared some trees and i just pretty much knocked them down dug them up they're laying on the ground in their feeder pen we're gonna go get them cut up so i can get the grapple on the Kubota and go throw them over the fence so i can go put them on the brush pile so that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna grab my chainsaw get the tractor loaded up and head that way so before we get started that's all the fish we caught last night and then we caught 17 more today and i didn't end up cleaning all 17 some of them i put in the pond i think i cleaned like 10. so we got a pretty good mess of fish so tomorrow kai is going to get her birthday wish and we're going to have a little fish fry and uh we're just gonna have a few family members some grandparents um rachel and i's parents and that's about it because we still got to do our social distancing so anyways uh we had a great time fishing we caught more this morning i got them clean so now i gotta get busy on the projects on the farm All right guys, so I'm at the first tree and most of the trees that I ended up digging up are elm and these elm trees are pretty worthless for as far as anything. They can be used for firewood, but we usually burn more of a hardwood, hickory and oak. We've, we've got tons of it here. So on this here, we'll probably just add this to the brush pile because I don't really have time to uh, handle it for firewood right now. We still got tons we got to put up. But what I'm gonna do right now is I got my grapple holding this up. I'm gonna cut this up in chunks where it's more manageable with the tractor that way i can just kind of put it over the fence and uh haul it off from there i'll put it over the fence the goats will probably eat a lot of this green leaves and stuff you can see the little pigs you guys can see the pigs are here they're they've been laying underneath these trees using them as shade 
So I'm gonna get busy cutting this uh, tree up. the tree limbs and all the trees that were cut up and put on the other side of the pasture and uh i don't know if you guys can see i had the gopro up on the tractor but uh all the goats came running as soon as i seen these green leaves sitting there and they got a lot of their uh a lot of them got their bellies full eating a lot of these green leaves but now i'm gonna lay out the uh frame to this hog shed uh it's gonna be 12 by 15 i'm only gonna have uh the front is going to be like seven foot high the back end is going to be six foot and the reason uh we're making a lean-to roof like that is we're going to try to put some guttering on the back to where we can catch rainwater to fill up their uh water tank that i got set up over there so uh i don't think i'm going to get very much of this done today i still got to get the uh yard mode and get everything ready for kaya's party tomorrow but i'm going to set up the gopro and i'm going to just lay out the frame a little bit and uh make sure that's where we want it for sure
guys so i pretty much got the frame uh started from the base i got the four posts up i'm gonna put some more posts in the middle and two in the back but uh this one is not going to be anchored in the ground permanently uh, i'm gonna figure out a different kind of way to anchor the structure to the ground rather than uh cement in the uh corner post into the ground that way in case we we decide we want to move it or build a different kind of pen something like that we won't have a problem doing that i can get the tractor underneath it and i'm going to try to build it to where i can uh use the uh, loader bucket of my big tractor to move this thing around a little bit and uh these guys are back here they're waiting to get this house done even though it's summertime pretty much now i say summer it's still spring but uh you can see them kind of foraging around here digging up roots eating grass it's almost dinner time and uh I gotta get my batteries recharged and i don't mean the milwaukee drill set <sighs> i'm worn out we got up early went fishing uh we still gotta go uh move these turkeys and i told you guys i was going to uh film it so uh, i'm gonna go film uh i'm gonna try to get some help i might see if the kids will help me go try to wrangle up some turkeys and uh those 12 americana chicks and get them moved over to the uh, old turkey pen like you guys can see how this is coming along um, I finally got it squared up and everything's level. So, some of these boards look bowed, like this one right here looks bowed a little bit. I think it'll uh, straighten back out all right. But I got to cut those tops off once I get all the uh, the roof boards put on. And uh, for sure, I'm going to put tin on the top. It's going to have a sheet metal top. I don't know about the sides 100% yet. We'll probably end up doing that. You guys can see the goats over there eating their dinner already. They love green leaves. All right, so I'm going to go recharge my batteries, get a quick cold drink, and uh, see if I can't get the kids to help me get those turkeys loaded up and put them over in the new hutch. Okay, guys, I got little Kaya May. She's going to help me. We're going to catch these big ones, and we're going to put them in the crate in the back of the ranger. Hopefully, they don't fly out. Let me move this for you because I don't want it to cut you. Right. Get one? Yep, go ahead and start getting them. And I'll, uh, I'll handle the door. Man, them guys are getting big. Big turkeys. Can you get them? Hopefully none fly out, right? Yeah. Turkey number two. Turkey number you guys are going to like your new house. Get them from the side, sis. Where you can reach both sides. There you go. Oh. <laughs> They're tough to handle. Yeah, you're doing a good job. All right, number three. You guys are going to be in a better home. Are you going to be happy for that? No, they'll be really happy. Number four. Number four. I mean, these guys just grow so fast. And they're going to have some friends. They're going to be putting in there with the chickens that mom has out in the quail hutch. You got him. Mm -hmm. Hopefully these are girls because we already got two toms or male turkeys. You're a good that hooker. He's feisty. Yeah. Uh oh. Nope, 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 <laughs> nope, nope. Go around. Try to get him to go back in there. Come this way. Hold on, I'll help you. Got him. Hey, good job. Be easy. Good I job. You're fast. Calm down, guys. All right, here, let me help you get the rest of them. Okay, so we got the 12 turkeys and the or the 11 turkeys and the 12 Americanas loaded up, and we're gonna put them over here in this turkey hutch. But there's a turkey sitting on a clutch of eggs, so they don't think she'll bother them. So we're gonna go ahead and put them in here. 
See if I can lift this whole thing with all of them in there. Guys, this is your new home for now. We gotta go get their uh, water and feeder set up. Now you guys got room to grow and get your wings and your feathers spread out. Okay, so we finally got them moved. Some of them came out of the crate. Some of them still in there. The ones that have come out, look at this. They love it. They're taking dust baths, rolling around in all that old bedding, that straw. And these other guys are just sitting in there. Turkeys are kind of chickens, actually. <laughs> They're kind of scared to get out of there. All right, so, uh, Kaya, what's tomorrow? My birthday. How old are you going to be? Eight. Huh? Eight. What are we going to have for your birthday dinner? Cake and ice cream and watermelon. And what did we catch yesterday that you wanted for your birthday dinner? Fish. Catfish. Uh-huh. All right. Catfish, hush puppies, and all that good stuff. Mm -hmm. You excited? Yep. All right. I'm really excited. She's really excited. Thank you for helping me. You're welcome. All right, guys. So I am pooped. I got to go mow the yard, get it, everything we needed and looking nice. Uh, we're going to have some company tomorrow. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned for progress on the hog shelter that's coming along. Um, I'll try to put up a picture right here to show you guys what this thing, what I kind of want it to look like. I don't have any plans. I'm just kind of throwing it together. So check that out. It's going to look something similar to that. And uh, guys, if you're not subscribed to the channel, I ask you guys to please hit that subscribe button. Yes. Click the notification bell. Leave a comment down below. Like this video. Like this video. And we'll see you next time. Bye.